Japanese scientists make breakthrough in cloning a woolly mammoth. The cells recovered from a mammoth of 28,000 years displayed signs of life. Although experts say that we probably will not walk amongst the prehistoric beasts yet, technology for cell regeneration may also benefit. A team of Japanese and Russian scientists reported a substantial move towards returning the woolly mammoth back to life, while they warned that tabloid accounts said that they are 10 years from the attraction of a Jurassic Park with mammoths and saber-toothed tipped tigers. The scientists say instead that they hope the technologies they are creating will be used to avoid the formerly vanishing organisms which are on the verge of extinction. Researchers reported on cells recovering from the left rear leg of a juvenile mammoth found in the Siberian permafrost in 2011, published in a paper Science Papers. Cell nuclei of the mammoth were successfully inserted into mouse cells, expected to inhabit what is now in northern Russia around 28,000 years ago. Biological activity of cells transplanted. Five out of a decade showed the biological reactions required immediately in advance of cell division, Professor Kei Miyamoto, a study team member from Kindai University, Central Japan, said to DW. Scientists at the university have been working on this project for more than 20 years now and we have made some good progress, but this is a major development, he said. We have been able to confirm that the cells are able to react after being transplanted to the mouse embryos, even after such a long time, and that there is biological activity, he said. While this progress is optimistic, he said that none of the samples provided the cell division needed to coax the mammoth back to life. The next mission of Professor Miyamoto is to achieve cell division. Study continues on the mammoth carcass, the so-called yucca, to find cells less damaged and more viable. He joked, but we are still many steps away from Jurassic Park, the technology to resurrect an extinct creature does not yet exist, although I will not deny that it probably will in the future, he said. We just have to continue the research. This is disappointing for all those who saw headlines last year, especially in the Russian media, which predicted that in a decade there would be a theme park that includes mammoths, species of endangered horses and deer, cell lions and other mammals. However, experts keep searching Siberia's ice fields and permafrost in search of specimens of these beasts, which can still be well preserved to sustain viable cells. Miyamoto said that, before technology reached the stage, a resurrected mammoth is a possibility, he thinks there are a lot of questions to answer. I cannot say that we should go ahead and bring these creatures back to life as there are many issues that must be considered, he said. There are ethical issues, these animals may not be comfortable in the environment that we have today, there are countless things that have to be discussed. Right now, I am more interested in studying the factors that influence how animals become extinct and helping to prevent those that are in danger of dying out from disappearing, he said. A British environmentalist, Clive Nicholl, who now lives in Nagano Prefecture's mountains, agrees that vigilance is important, but said that there are several possible advantages. I believe that non-destructive science can be beneficial in some way or another, and it is clear that regenerating life can be positive, but I would personally prefer that we turn our attention and this sort of knowledge to endangered species that are on the earth right now," he said. Biodiversity fading. He adds that their disappearance in their traditional habitats, their interruptions in the food chains, use of pesticides, chemicals and more land as being given over to agriculture are gradually disappearing here in our mountains. They are being replaced by moths, bees, insect and birds each year, or so it seems. Nickel, who in 1969 became the first semi-mountain national park warden in Ethiopia, the first site anywhere in the world to be registered as a World Heritage Site by the UNESCO, said that, and then there are problems with issues such as poaching of elephant and rhinoceros in Africa, the work that these scientists are doing is fascinating, but I believe it is fantasy, he said. I hope that certain people start talking when they carry these animals back into theme parks or zoos, he said. I hope it is imagination. What are your thoughts about this video? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you on the next video.